<clears throat> hey guys, Coach Shane here with your Saturday at home workout tip. We've got a very cardio heavy workout today. We've got some rowing, we have some running. Now, if I don't want to brave that winter, if my gym is in my basement or whatever it is, take that run, ship it out and say, let's do a couple minutes of burpees. Okay, a 600 meter run. Let's say on a really good day, it's going to take you about three minutes, whatever that would be three minutes of burpees, let's ballpark it at between 30 and 40. Okay, maybe we feel like 20 is a better number. Up to you guys. But uh, where we're gonna focus is the pull up, okay? We've got 20 pull ups in the workout. We're trying to have you guys work on cycling with a low number, right? If I can get, you know, five sets of four in the workout or four sets of five, however that works, we wanna work on getting you guys a little quicker at cycling through your pull-ups. So I'm gonna still go through that same hollow Superman push away pull, but once I'm at the top, I wanna to connect my pull-up to the next one. I wanna think about pushing myself away from the pull-up bar to reset that system, okay? So we're looking for, when I get up on the pull-up bar, standard pull-up once I get up there, a hard push away while maintaining my belly so I can fall through and keep tension to push back into my next one. So. What we're looking is here, get all set, up, push away, push away. Every time I'm thinking I finished my pull and now I need a push to get myself starting that cyclical motion again for our pull-ups. I want you to focus there, focus on breathing in your cardio piece, get out your Saturday fitness, and we'll hopefully see you guys at the gym soon.